Welcome back to the show, everyone. You know, of course, the playoffs start today. Go Canucks, go. And we thought, who do we want to sit down and talk to about the Canucks and their playoff run this year? Well, how about a guy. little bit of a legend? Former Canucks broadcaster Tom Larshide is joining us now. Tom, how hey, Tom. are you? Just great to Thanks be back with back. you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Fiona. Mike, it's, it's nice to see you again. Where do you watch the game? Where, where do you watch it? Do you watch it home or what do you do? Well, tonight I'm going to be watching at home. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I've been to a few games this year. And you know, I came here, the last time I was here was the day before I did my final game. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But boy, what a season this has been for the I know, Canucks. Yeah. Yeah. How was incredible. your final game for you? How, how did that feel? It must have been amazing. I remember the ovation. I mean, it was pretty special. It really was, Mike. I, I was blown away by the Vancouver hockey fans and the love and affection they showed me that night. Yeah. It, was, it was wonderful. Uh, I enjoyed my final broadcast. Uh, uh, John Shorthouse uh, and the people behind the scenes, like Mike Winningham from Team 1040, uh, put together uh, an evening that I'll never forget. Was it tough to sign off? Well, you know, uh, I was kind of resigned to the fact that this is it. You wanted to play golf. <laughs> Bone <Bob> Springs, <laughs> hello. <laughs> well, no, you know, I went into that last game with, hey, I'm just going to go enjoy myself. Oh, yeah, go and that's what I did. And uh, it really, I, I listened to the tape for the first time at the entire broadcast just about a week ago. Yeah. I never wanted to listen to it. It was all kind of a little bit of a blur for me, yeah. right? But after I listened back, I thought, oh, you went out all right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, well was, done, kid. It was Way okay. Go. Uh, so are you excited? I mean, obviously, as a guy who's been such an integral part of the Canucks history, uh, how do you feel around playoff time, especially this year when there's, there's so much potential there? Well, I've always felt that playoff time is what it's all about. Yeah. It's a special time of the year. Yeah. You uh, get through the regular season. Well, you do. <laughs> uh, but this year's team has been phenomenal. It's been amazing. Yeah. I, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. I mean, they have been so good in every facet of the game that it's not surprising that when you look in the paper or you watch your television and all the prognosticators, what is it? Canucks in six, Canucks yeah. in seven. You I've know, never seen that before. Get the, get the parade yeah. route ready. I well, know. sure it does. Yeah. <laughs> because I can tell you from experience, yeah. their medal is going to be tested at one time or another during these playoffs. Well, yeah. being matched up first round with Blackhawks, I mean, it's a very interesting a good test right there. combination, isn't it? <laughs> it's a, it is. And you know what? I like it. I think it's time. What a confidence booster this will be for this hockey team. Yeah if they take care of the Hawks, which I think they will do this year. Yeah. This, this is a very unique bunch, this Vancouver hockey team. The maturity that they have demonstrated, and I'm just on the outside now, out of the loop, but just watching like you as a fan. Although I know all the guys in the room, but I've seen the maturity now, and that, uh, you know, they're able to control it. Yeah. They don't get too excited when they win a big game. Right. They don't get down in the dumps when they lose a game. Yeah. They know that they're good. They have a swagger about them, but they're not cocky. Yeah. But it's they're confident mix. in what they can do as a team. Well, and when you think of all those great playoff grudges, uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, this is a good one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Colorado, Detroit, Edmonton, Calgary, Montreal, Boston. Uh, this has become that for the Canucks. And, and, you know, you think of the psychology of getting past these guys now. It's, you know, it's a good first round matchup if they can do it. It's them. a fabulous first round matchup. And this is a very good team. You know, they are the defending champions. Yeah. And until someone... They got some scoring. Hey, wait a, exactly. <laughs> I mean, they got some highly skilled players. Uh, it's not the same team that beat the Canucks last year or the year before yeah. that. However, they have some game breakers. Yeah. They really do. And it's going to get down to what it's always been at this time of year. And I look back to 1982. I was fortunate to be there for that run. What do you think about that one? Who are the players that come to mind? Yeah. King Richard Berdour, yeah. goaltending, Neal, right? And, yeah. Stan Smeal, yeah. Thomas Gradine, yeah. guys that can score the big goal when you have to have it. Mm -hmm. 94, who do we think of? Yeah. Captain Kurt McLean, the goaltender, yeah. right? Linden. Trevor you know. Linden, yeah. the Russian rocket. <laughs> uh, Greg Adams, yeah. Cortnell, guys that could score when you needed yeah. to have the big goal. Oh, I remember that Who's... Greg Adams goal against Toronto, right? Yeah, I mean, right that was, on. <laughs> was right just on. unbelievable. <laughs> but Burry, uh, Burry doesn't score in double overtime against Calgary. Yeah. It's in the seventh not. and deciding game. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean about really testing your medal. Because in 1989, the Canucks had a terrible team. They just squeezed into the playoffs. When I say a terrible team, not very good. Yeah. And they played the Calgary Flames. 
this is 1989, Calgary won the Stanley Cup that year. Yeah. And they took him to seven. It was amazing. Series. Overtime in seven. Yeah. Scared, yeah, it was scared amazing. the dickens out of them. Yeah. Well, Vancouver hockey fans better be ready for something like that. Yeah. Because strange things happen at playoff time. They really do. Well, and what is it like for you, Tom? I mean, you said you saw a few games since uh, you signed off on the radio. Yes. What is it like for you to sit in the stands it and watch? And just what watch. Players? What yeah. a good question. You know, I, I felt kind of funny coming in. <laughs> and, like you, you should know, be doing something? Well, yeah. I mean, I just have never sat in the stands, you know, to watch uh, the Canucks play. I've always been up in the booth. Yeah. Uh, People have been very nice to me, you know. They recognize you, they come over, they say hello, and boy, this is the year too bad you're not going to be there. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> but Tommy, if I was sitting beside you, I'd want you to talk me through the game. Yeah. <laughs> well, so so that's been fun. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've experienced that. Uh, Leslie, my wife, uh, has joined me, and uh, we got a big kick out of it. But it is different. I, I feel funny down in the seats. I had such a good spot up there, yeah. you know, in my you, perch, you, you know, as, see I, it all as I develop. look down and you see it all develop and so on. Yeah. I, I guess the one thing that I miss, people ask me this, uh, I know it's time, you know, mm -hmm. it's time to, for other people now to run with it. Yeah. And I, I, I'm cool with that. But what I miss is um, describing the, all the action, the yeah. excitement and the drama and, and communicating with our listeners, yeah. which I've tried to do all these years. I miss that. Yeah, you know? well, and, and a reflection of what everybody at home is experiencing as well. And, and that's a really unique thing to be able to be that voice for what everybody's going through. Is a, It's a pretty rare place to be in a lifetime, I think. Well, I was watching you in the beginning of the show here, and uh, you got a little fire in your belly. Oh. The blood's percolating a little bit today. A you little. have some passion, too, Tommy, for what but, you guys well, do. Well, but that's what I mean. I like to hear someone who's yeah. on the radio and talking well, about it that, that has that same yeah. passion and you know I'm a little bit scared today I'm too terrified. I'm anxious I'm nervous. Are you really do you get nervous like up. the first day, day of the playoffs I mean I, everybody's a little nervous like it's the first day of school or something <laughs> yeah, like do you get it. nervous for the team oh absolutely especially I, knowing the guys you right? know what I, I used to get a little nervous before every game that I did uh, you know uh, you, I think that's a good sign yeah you know you, you every time it's like players you hope this is the best game you ever play. I yeah. used to hope it was the best broadcast we'd ever have. Yeah. I, I think you have to do that. You guys do that too. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tommy, well, it doesn't pleasure, show you. Oh, terrific. Yeah. Bring yeah, thank you very much. You know what? There we go. One last one. What Canucks in six, All right? right? Ah. Hey. Go Canucks, go. This is the year. This I think is so. the year. Always Thank a pleasure you so to sit down with you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you very we much for having me. We don't need to tell me. you, but the first game uh, against the Hawks is tonight. Of course, you can watch it on CBC. Yeah, absolutely. The next game on Friday as well. And we're going to take a break. When we come